going on, y'all? It's your boy D, man. Back another video. Today's video, we about to we about to you know what I'm saying look at the BS of 2K. Now I don't I don't really do stuff. I mean I do some you know what I'm saying overall reaction stuff like this, but this really pissed me off why I had to do it, bro. But yeah, let's just get straight into this, man. So Jamal Murray, a 89. He won the NBA Finals, right? He came back from injury. Well, he could have been. He could have stopped playing. Career, and he stopped playing. You know what I'm saying? And then again, he won the NBA Finals. He was, if not the main, but the second main reason why the Nuggets won. Okay, he's an 88. Where on earth, like how? He's at least I say. Like, okay, Jamal Murray's not a top point guard. I mean, he's like, at least like top 20, maybe top 15 point guard. I at least get him a 91, 92. Let's be honest, bro. I'm just being real. But we ain't going to keep going into that. Next, Jalen Brown. Now, I don't like Jalen Brown like that, but to me, Jalen Brown is the Celtics franchise player. I don't care what y'all say about Jason about just Tatum. He's not. He, he, he not the franchise player, bro. It's Jalen Brown. A 89 is disrespectful as hell. He's at least in that 90, 91 range. You know what I'm saying? He's proven himself that he's a value player to that team. Honestly, if it was a trade that had to be required, bro, I would trade Taylor before I trade Brown. I'm being so serious. That's enough of that. Shy Alexander. Now, I like Shy. I like Alex. I like Shy. I can lie. I do. 93. I feel like. Non-biased, 93 is cool. 92, 93 is, that's straight. That's fine. Okay. Um, Donovan Mitchell, a 92. I really don't like Spider like that, but a 92 is cool. He did great in the season. A 92, that's respectable. That's great. You know what I'm saying? 92 is, it's, it's, that's that's perfect. 92 is perfect. But this is, the, but let's see, then here we go in the, the BS. So, you mean to tell me this mother... This man right here, this man right here, he ain't even played a real game of basketball. He has not played an official NBA game, and he's 84. Are you serious? Are you, are you LeBron James himself was the number one pick in the NBA. He wasn't even 84. LeBron was like a, 70, a 78, 79. You think I'm lying? Look it up. How the fuck? How the fuck is he at 84? Okay, it's cool. He, he tall, this and that. But what does he prove? He ain't proving nobody nothing. He just show y'all he tall. Like, okay. Fucking Giannis is tall, but he... Nah, 84 way too high, bro. As a rookie, 84 is way too high. That's that's dang near... A 84 is dang near like a... I would say like a solid bench player. That's that's one of their stats, 84. That's like a, a, a um Joe Harris or uh, Mike Conley. That's one of them type of overalls. He should not have his, especially as no rookie. Now, if he do great during the season, okay, that's cool. It's going up. But an 84 to start out his season? We wouldn't even start at 84 in my career. So why the fuck should this say? Let me stop. Just, it don't even, it don't make sense, bro. It, it don't make sense at all. How, let, let's just keep going on, bro. Let's just, let's just keep going, man. Bro, no, I don't. I don't care about you. I, I don't care. Let's see what's next. Devin Booker, ninety-four. That's respectable. Ah, that that's a great fit. It'll probably. I'm. I'm more than likely his overall go up throughout the season. But starting out at ninety-four, that's respectable. I. I yeah, That's great. That's good. Now about this one, Jimmy Butler. Honestly, bro, I feel like Jimmy Butler should be higher than ninety-five. He he really should. I say Jimmy Butler fall, falling that ninety-six. Yeah, I say Jimmy Butler should be a flat ninety six, bro. Think about it. He had the work. He had one of the worst teams in the NBA. They made the play in. They beat two number one. They beat the fucking Celtics, bro. They beat the fucking the Bucks, the best team in the NBA in that conference. They beat them. They swept them. Wait, four zero. It was either four or four. It was one of them. But yeah, he did that. So he should be at ninety six. But I mean, ninety five is cool. But like. If it was me, I'm saying 96. Like, it should be a margin. We'll get into that in a second, bro. And then this this right here, for real. What is what is he? Why? Please let me know why. Why? 
Jason Taylor should not be the 95. He should fall in the 92 to 94 range. That's that's acceptable. That's where he should be at. 92, 94 range. That, he shouldn't be no 95. When you at a 95, it's like you damn near a 99. Like you in that margin of going from 95 to 99. He shouldn't be no 95, bro. At all. He shouldn't be. He shouldn't. He don't play. He's not. Bro, he's not good. Okay? I don't care what nobody say. Tatum's not good, bro. He shouldn't be up there. I'm sorry. Luka, 95. I feel like Luka falls in that 93, 94 range too. A 95, I'm okay. I'm not really okay with, but it's like, eh, I guess. But I really don't feel like he should be. I say 92. I say 93, 94. But 95, it's, I guess I can let it slide. It's all right. Uh, I don't even know who that is. Giannis at 96. No. No. You sat there. You had the best team in the NBA. One of the best teams in the NBA. You got beat by a, a eight a eight round not eight round by a rank eight team. The last team that they barely made the play in, and they beat y'all. You should not be no ninety six. Giving you the benefit of the doubt, bro. You should be a 94. 94, 95. Not yeah, ninety five. You should be a ninety five. That's what you should be at. Ninety six too high. You should be ninety five, bro. I don't care what nobody say. Oh, he's been he's been dominating for so long. No, I don't care. No. The way, the way he showed us, no. 95. Now, my main man, my man, you know what I'm saying? This is non-biased. My main man, Easy Money Sniper. You feel me? KD Trey underscore five. Non-biased, KD should be a 99. I ain't going to lie. He should be a 99. He should be. KD's the best scorer. He's been the best scorer for, for a lot of time now. He the best. Well, he he one of the best players in his position. Well, he is the best player in his position. But he's one of the greatest players that's ever played the game of basketball. But a 96, the, the start out is cool. But I really feel like he should be a 97. You know what I'm saying? It's a difference between, like, it should be a difference between the 94s and 95s. And when it go to 97s and up, that, like, it should be a different margin. But 96 is cool for right now. We already know it's going to go up. I feel like he should be a 99. But 97 should start out. He should start out as 97. But 96 is cool. I respect it. But really, to go back to this, KD... And Giannis and, yeah, KD and Giannis is not in the same margin. KD is a whole lot better than Giannis. That's why I think he should be at 97. It set the bar of different how players play, like what, like how great they are. But 97 is cool. I'm going to let it slide. Now, Steph, I'm going to be honest with y'all, I don't like Steph for real. I do, but I don't. It, it depends on how I'm feeling. A 96, really, non-biased, bro. This is saying, so I go back to this. I say Steph should be at 97. Like, he, he the best shooter in the world. He the best shooter of all time. All them rings, all them, you know what I'm saying, all them accolades, rings he got, he should fall in that 97 range too. Like, 97 and above, she like, like that's a one-of-a-kind player. You get what I'm saying? That's why I feel like he should be up there too. But 96 is cool to start out, I guess. I guess it's cool. Now, Brian is Brian. You know what I'm saying? He been in the league 21 years. 96 is, I still feel like, Bron should be a 97 as well, too, though. You know what I'm saying? Like, it should be a difference between some of these players and other players. Like, yeah, they're, they're all-star players, but then it's still them players that's better than them all-star players. Like, it's just like I said, them one in the generation type of players. Like, and LeBron is one of them. LeBron, KD, Steph, maybe, like, two more people, bro, in current day. Like, two more people. Here's another one. Embiid, he should be a 97. Embiid should be a 97. He's an MVP. The man's dropping triple doubles damn near every game. Wait, he was like 40 20 or something. Like, he helped. They lost in the playoffs, bro, but it was not his fault. He did he did his best, bro. It was him versus it was him versus well, him and James Harden versus the whole team. You can't do that. You can you can only do so much, bro. He should be in that 97 range, too. You feel what I'm saying? He should. Now, Jokic. This out of shape mother, this out of shape mother level. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, he the MVP of the final. He the Finals MVP. Yeah, his team won all this and that. He had the best team in the league. He did great. So this is where I speak on this. If Brian, KD, Curry, who else, and Giannis, if they're in that 97 range, right? Like I said, it's to solidify the what type of player it is. So Jokic being a 98 is okay, 
But he shouldn't be a 98, and then Brian, KD, uh, Giannis, and Joel is a 96. That is not sit, they don't sit right because like that's making it seem like that he's a whole lot better than them. Yeah, he did good this this past season, but he's not like tremendously better than them. So them being a 97 and him a 98 will make a whole lot more sense. Not no 96 and then him a 98. Hell no, that don't that don't that don't sit right with me. It, it really don't. But um, yeah, man, that's that's it for this video, bro. I I need to, I just you know what I'm saying I had to let to let people know how I feel because like some of this ain't right. Some of these. Hold on, wait a minute. I forgot. Where the fuck is Kyrie at? I didn't. I am I tripping? But um, I didn't see no Kyrie on this list. Did y'all see a Kyrie on this list? Hold on, they had the top ten. Okay, okay. Hold on, hold on. Yeah, let's see this. Let's fucking see this. Jokic, Giannis, LeBron, Joel, KD, Steph, Luca, Jason, Jimmy Butler, Kawhi. He ain't done nothing. Devin Booker and Damian Lillard. Are you serious? So you mean to tell me Kawhi and Damian Lillard is better than Kyrie Irving? No. No. Kyrie should at least be 95, 94. Why, why is, how is Kyrie not a top 10 player? See, this is that, that's that, this is that BS. This is that BS. Kyrie is a top. <sighs> Kyrie is at least a 95, bro. 94 at the lowest. It's no way Kyrie Irving is not up here, bro. That's basically saying that he's with the, like, the, the, start, like, the, the, like, that's basically saying that Kyrie's on a Donovan Mitchell play level. And he's a whole lot better than Donovan Mitchell. What, like, what are we saying right now? Why is he? Why is he not up here? I'm not gonna lie. Whoever do these ratings, y'all need y'all ass whoop. Cause there's no way. You put Jason Tatum up there. So Jason Tatum is better than man. I'm f like I don't know how Kyrie not up here, bro. I really don't. To be real, missing Kyrie, Paul George should be up here. There's a lot more that should be in this 93, 94 range. But I get how it's like these are the most impactful players, but not no Jason Tatum, not no Damian Lillard, not no Kawhi. Maybe in 2017, 2018, cool. But to this third day, no. Kyrie Irving should at least be a 95. 94 at the minimal. But, you know, you know, people with common sense can't make the ratings because, you know, everybody else won't be, won't be, you know what I'm saying, be dumbasses. Hate to say it like that, but yeah. But that is what it is, though, man. It's it's stupid. Like, it's, it's just plain out stupid. It don't make sense, but that's it for this video, man. It's your boy D. Y'all let me know how y'all feel about this. It's insane. Till next time, though, your boy D. I'm out this thing. Peace. Big boy, you on the track. You on the track.